You just need to redesign it for fat people. I'm sure it's great. Holy crap. I'm gonna break a thumb. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Let's hope that YouTube allows this to happen. These are nipple covers. Just so that there's no confusion in a person reviewing my video. Anyway, my name is Sarah Ray Vargas. I've had a bit of a cold the last week, so I'll do my best to cut out all the sniffling, coughing, and sneezing, but I just couldn't hold off on making this video any longer. Skims it is, they're called skims. How cute is this packaging? This is just about half of what I bought. How great is the packaging? It's so sleek, it's so like, frankly, pretty minimal actually. Um, I love it, when I opened the box, I was like, oh, hold up, I'm actually very excited about this. Let's talk about first impressions. Well, one, it was super hard to get my hands on everything. Um, my intention was to buy every one of everything. However, I did hop on right when it came out and the time had gotten pushed and da 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 da, da whatever. But anyway, I did my best, I got as much as I could. But one thing that I did think was really cool was the fact that it's coming out in a bunch of different uh, tones. So currently I have on Micah, I will tell you the tone of each one that I have. Um, and this is Micah and there are ones that are lighter than this and there are ones that are basically uh, like a deeper shade all the way to black, like the actual color black. So um, I think that's cool. Spanx actually has a couple of shades as well, but I don't think they have as many as what Skims came out with. You can correct me if I'm wrong there. And typically I do buy Spanx. I like Spanx. I'm very familiar with it. That's kind of my jam. Um, so that's probably who I'm going to be kind of comparing this against. As far as the pricing goes, pretty much on par with Spanx pricing or with general shapewear pricing. I don't think they were overpriced in any way. Uh, some of the bigger bodysuits are the longer bodysuits were like, you know, they're obviously in the higher end. The bras were in the 30s. Uh, the thong I think was 20-ish. And then some of the other pieces were in the 30s. So, I mean, that's pretty much what you should expect to pay for shapewear. And I'm not gonna judge it any harsher because it's Kim Kardashian shapewear. Like, she obviously wears shapewear. She knows how, you know, to rock an outfit and what you might need to put underneath it. That being said, she is, uh, you know, not me. I'm fat, like I'm plus size, I'm hella fat, like hello, let's be honest here, right? So uh, I always, you know, you gotta take it with a grain of salt when someone that is relatively thin and has a very shapely body and is flat for the most part and doesn't have a whole lot to suck in and reposition outside of like, you know what I mean, she got, oh, she got a big booty. But like beyond that, I mean, ah! I need a big person to put some stuff on and let me know if it's gonna fit. Speaking of big people, okay, while I was on the website waiting for it to like, you know, go live, I had a good opportunity there to take a look at the size chart and the sizing works. Uh, they have these separately, but also kind of together like a two for sizing. So extra, extra small to extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, 2XL, 3XL, 4XL, 5XL. Did you happen to notice that between the large and extra large, and the 2XL, 3XL, my size was actually missing. So I tend to be a 16, 18, also a, uh, also an XXL or a 1X. That's pretty much my normal sizing. If anything, I might be a 1X, 2X. So the fact that they went from large, extra large to 2X, 3X had me a little worried. But what it confirmed for me, now that I have it in front of me, is that these are gonna run small. If they made the decision to completely omit that size 1X, or XXL, which is a very common size. 16, 18 is a pretty common size. Um, if they decided to omit that, that must mean that this stuff runs small. So everything that I'm gonna show you is in a 2X, 3X, or a 2X because there was no other option for me. So this bra is the scoop neck bra, and this is in the color mica, and it is in a size 2X. It's kind of your basic bra, the, um, I mean, as far as like a bralette style goes. It does come in, as you can see, pretty pretty partially here around my waist, so it's a little snug, um, but shapewear is snug, that's kind of the point. Um, and then it does have adjustable straps, and it has a pretty decent coverage, I would say, here in the back. So before going on the website to actually shop that day, I saw the video that Kim had posted, that kind of, you know, the one like at her house or whatever, and um, it, was, it wasn't like a promotional video or anything, but she had held up some of the pieces, and she was talking about how when she wore this dress, she had the wrong uh, tone of shape around underneath, and you could see it in the flash, and da 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 right? I get it, I totally get it, I wear a lot of dresses, I take pictures, I know what she's talking about. Um, however, when she did that, she held up some of the pieces, and I was like, oh my gosh, those are tiny. And then my brain was like, Sarah, she's tiny, like her waist, her body, like she's so small, you know what I mean? Of course her shape wears tiny. But then I got this one out of the box, and I was like, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look, I've put a lot of shapewear on in my life and I know that it stretches to the high heavens, but like this is still very, very discomforting right now looking at this. Right, so we have on the mid-thigh, mid-waist short. This is a 2XL, 3XL, it's in the color mica and all the lighter shades sold out super fast so i was buying whatever shade i could get my hands on um i'm sure they all sold out at some point <laughs> but uh the ones that i looked to first definitely sold out like super quick and that was actually kind of annoying because it could be in your cart but it sold out within you know like minutes of putting it in your cart and i'm like what's the cart for y'all over here just jacking carts <laughs> like rude these are relatively inexpensive and as far as shapewear goes the quality of this actually feels really good it feels pretty much on par with what i would come to expect from like spanx or something and um it feels good it you know i had a little bit of struggle pulling it up 2x 3x is 100 percent definitely my size um and as far as the band on top goes as soon as i took it out of the bra it rolled down my back and that's but frankly, what's going to happen with me, I don't have any shapewear that's going to stay up on my back that high without being tucked under my bra. So that's my little trick. I just tuck it under my bra. If I don't have a bra, then I wear a mid-rise one so that it doesn't go up above this layer of fat right here, basically. And I will show you an option there. Um, and I'm going to throw a dress on so that you guys can really see how it looks. Okay, obviously this isn't the dress you're going to wear with this shapewear, okay? Um, the bra is hanging out. That's not cute. You see, it does suck me in quite a bit here. It definitely, like, kind of um, emphasizes the waist, but almost in a oddly kind of unnatural way for me because it's so tight here. It's actually bulging out on this area, which doesn't normally happen for me. Um, so, uh, I don't love the bra. And then as far as the bottoms go, obviously you can see it, but we have some other options for that as well to hide your legs and hide the shapewear when you do have slits on the left, the right, or the center. Um, but for sure, my stomach is definitely like being helped out here quite a bit. My butt's being helped as well. It does have kind of that mesh in the back. And I mean, all in all, I would be satisfied with this particular type of shapewear. I do kind of wish it had the bra straps. I don't use them, but I know a lot of you guys do, and I think that would definitely help keep it up, but it does have that rubberized gripper on the top anyway, in case that actually works for you and your body. It doesn't work for me and mine. Do you see how tiny this is? Look at my hand. <laughs> do you understand why I have to work myself up to doing shapewear videos? Look at this, it's so little. All right, these bodysuits were not easy to get your hands on, okay? This is the reason I had to make multiple orders. I actually ended up buying multiple identical bodysuits, but whatever. I ended up getting this in the color Onyx. Like I said, it goes from very light, very like fair tones to deeper tones, and then ultimately the color black. So I got this in Onyx, and I got this again in a 2XL, 3XL. I got a couple. I also got the one with shorts, which I'm excited about. But I recently watched Adrienne's channel, Adrienne uh, Houghton is her new last name, right? I watched her channel and she was talking about how she wears these underneath like all of her clothes basically. She wears the bodysuit and they have the built-in sort of wannabe kind of bra thing. And I don't have a very large chest so I don't need a lot of support. So this is something I could actually wear without feeling like loosey-goosey up here in the boob area. Um, and so I ended up not buying the Spanx one because I knew Kim was coming out with one and I was like, let me try this bad boy out. I am not disappointed. This feels like wearing a swimsuit that like knows that it has a job to do and it came ready to work. So I'm very excited about this particular piece. It's obviously a one piece. It does have the adjustable straps and then the bottom half, okay? I don't know how much I can really show you because YouTube is such a pain in the ass. They take my videos. It's really annoying. But anyway, um, okay. So from about here down, this material is actually like a thinner, lighter version of whatever else we have happening here. Also, I wonder if on the boobs as well. Yeah, it seems like the boobs is also a little bit lighter as well. And then you have more of a control in the tummy area, which is genius. That's exactly what you need. Like, yeah, let my butt hang out and do what it wants to do. You don't need to like suck it up. I'm not trying to have like a tight ass. So first of all, we gonna work on the stomach. Nobody wants a little tight. Okay, so let's try this dress again, but with this particular outfit, because I really like it. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention is that the last bodysuit and this one as well, and if I'm not mistaken, all of them, they don't have the hole in the crotch. So if you gotta go pee, honey, you gotta take it all off. <laughs> all right, 
so once again, um, this is not the dress that you would wear with this shapewear, but I'm just trying to show you guys that it does, again, give good tummy control. Because it doesn't go over the leg, you can see that I have, obviously, a place where it's stopping. What I like to do is I take it and I tend to just pull down the sides when I have these ones, just to kind of get rid of that little lump that occurs, because obviously your legs get short or smaller. Or, yeah, most people's legs don't get bigger as they go to hell, I don't know, but mine gets smaller, so you see if you just pull it down a little bit, it kind of helps to remove that little lump of where your thigh starts. And then it has good like coverage for the tummy once again, and this one does not create that added bulge here underneath like my you know armpits basically. So I don't have this extra bulge because it's just one smooth piece. So this is awesome. It kind of helps shape the butt, and gives it a little support. I like. Look at the little booty cheek area. I just want to show you guys that it does let your cheeks breathe, especially if you have tiny little baby butt cheeks. Good lord. Okay, if I wear this this like bottom part out and I have to pee, that's it. That's the end of the night for me. I have to go home because there's no way I could put these on twice in one day. Wow, talk about support, okay? This is the above the knee high-waisted shorts so they are technically above the knee I'm kind of on the shorter side if I wanted them to be below the knee I could I could pull them down um, I will say that the uh, seam around the leg is super duper comfortable sometimes they like cut into like I've gotten some cheaper ones from like Marshalls TJ Maxx like those kind of stores even Target um, and the thigh I have big 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 thighs like the thigh part will just kill me and then it creates that extra lump some people wear them under jeans, you know? I don't do shaper under jeans typically. That, oh, that's too much for me. But when people do wear them under jeans and the leg is too tight, you can see it through the denim. Like, it's too much. So um, the legs are really comfortable on this. Again, there's no hole here in the crotch if you have to pee or whatever. Um, this is, again, a high-waisted one, so it's gonna go all the way up. It's gonna have the exact same problem for me where it is gonna roll down if it's not tucked in to my uh, bra. You see it rolling now. I don't want to blame this shapewear like it's special. This happens to me with every single kind of shapewear if I don't tuck it into the bra if it is high waisted, which is why I said I get the mid waist one so that it just falls there and it doesn't roll because if it was trying to roll, it'd be rolling to a bigger area, which is not the way things roll in case you didn't know. So the back is the same problem. It rolls down. It does have the, um, you know, it has the bit of, of uh, crap, what is this called? <laughs> you know, it kind of feels like silicone almost, so that it can stick on your skin a bit, but my body is just too much for this. It, it this cannot, this cannot handle what I'm doing to it. So uh, the bra though, I actually really prefer this bra to the previous bra that I showed you. So the color for the bottoms is sand, and then the color for the top is ochre. Ochre, is that what it was? Yeah. So um, again, 2XL, 3XL for both of these, and this bra is the sculpting bra. The other one was the scoop neck, so I prefer this for sure. It has a different feel. This one actually also has that little like rubberized grip here. It has a better band for my body. Let me take this out so that you guys can see. It doesn't quite push in as hard. It's super comfortable. Like this is a really comfortable bra. Is it doing anything super special? I don't know, I mean, it's a full coverage bra. It, uh, it feels good, it's really comfortable, like I'm happy with this. Um, and with these bottoms as well, to be honest with you, let me throw a dress on. I'm doing a great job of picking out dresses to show you today, obviously. So clearly you can see the legs through the bottom of this. I wouldn't wear it with this dress and I'm an idiot. But um, the bra is actually really comfortable. Like if I just pulled it up a tiny bit, does it show in the back? Oh, it does show in the back. Whatever, I would wear it with a different kind of dress, but it's actually really comfortable. I like it. It is pronouncing my waist a bit more with the two combined together. I definitely have plenty of security here in the front. It feels like locked and loaded. There was a lot more struggle getting this pair on than the previous ones that I've showed you. And again, the butt looks good. I mean, it has space to kind of jiggle a bit back there. I like it, it's comfortable. But again, this one is hella fitted. So just choose your liquids wisely. Eat a spoonful of peanut butter. Is that a real thing? Because we, I had a sibling, I won't name his name. It was a boy. 
uh, and he used to pee the bed a lot and he used to have to eat a spoonful of peanut butter before bed like that was gonna somehow stop his bladder from doing anything but if there's any truth in that have a little peanut butter okay because you are not gonna want to take these on and off in the same night trust me oh gosh okay this is like an epic fail for me okay this is the double waistband mid waist brief okay i wear mid waist briefs all the time i wear the ones from spanx um i wear them all the time because they are a mid waist like i've been mentioning you'll see what's going on here i'm literally out of breath <laughs> Um, one thing that I was going to be a little bit concerned about here is, look, thinner people putting on shapewear are creating slightly less lumps and bumps. You know what I mean? You're going to look just that much better. Bigger people, plus size women that are putting on shapewear, we have so much that moves on us. You know what I mean? Like fat is... It's gonna be all over the place and you can literally tuck it, okay, into shapewear. And I feel like that's why we are especially sort of transformed by it. Um, so I was a little concerned with like, is this gonna be like fat girl friendly shapewear? Because that's not the easiest thing to find. And a lot of times when people do plus sizes, they tend to still just kind of take those um, smaller measurements. You know, it's like when a straight size brand does plus, but they don't change the configuration of the clothing the way that it needs to be because I'm not just a size small times five you know what I mean like my body is gonna be different than someone that is a smaller medium or large like plus sizes there's a reason that there is a difference between straight sizes and plus sizes okay so these are so damn hard to get up like I thought I was gonna break a finger trying to do this so this is again a 2x 3x this is the exact type that I order from Spanx all the time and if I were to actually put this up do you see my legs oh the redness went away um, this was so challenging if I actually put this up it's not gonna be mid waist okay it's not um, it's gonna be high waist and you see how how much it's changing my body right like you can see how much it's sucking in because it is ridiculously tight but there's absolutely no way that this is gonna stay up because it's meant to be down here and a lot of the um, a lot of the shapewear on the site and it's obviously gonna roll and it's just gonna make things much worse um, but a lot of the shapewear on the site they're actually putting on bigger bodies but not all of it and this one everyone on the cover of this thing is flat do you see yes this is gonna work great if you already have a flat body if you have a fat body with the amount of sculpting that is going on in the midsection I think that you are probably gonna have one hell of a time trying to get this to stay on and unfortunately I also bought it in the thong version because I really like um, thong shapewear I like to let my booty breathe so these are the same I'm not gonna put this on because there is no way in hell that this one's working for me unfortunately and if I do the next size up it's gonna be even longer than this one and it's not gonna fit I really should have documented putting this on because I, I was like a, oh my gosh giving myself a serious pep talk it's painful this is the most painful shapewear I've ever tried to put on you guys this is me trying to stretch it like it is literally whoa that hurt my elbow <laughs> so tight which again this is probably amazing if you have a flatter midsection to begin with but guys this is being sold as a 3x I'm a 16 18 let's just say I'm an 18 period right even based on the measurements this should fit me this should definitely fit me it shouldn't make me want to cry a little bit because it hurts so bad and just to be clear that last one is from the core control um solution wear or whatever so this is like the tightest version you can get so like i said if you can get it on that looks like it feels like it's gonna be great but for my body for this big body it's not gonna happen for me so um yeah next up i have these thongs and i wanted to put them on look at how little they are um i love 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 the thongs from spanx i purposely wore it today this is a spanx thong i get it in a 2x i forgot what it's called it's like 13 bucks or something Maybe it's a little bit more than that. I'm so fat right now. 
I'm in a bigger season of life right now. I've mentioned this before. But um, anyway, I love the Spanx thongs. I wear them all the time because they're so comfortable. So let's see if these are the same. Oh, these are actually very similar. Um, the Spanx ones are seamless and these ones do have seams on them. They have a little bit less material. They feel <coughs> a little loosey-goosey, if you will. But overall, this is a fine thong. I see nothing wrong with it. And if you're gonna get anything from this line, it's gotta be a bodysuit. Like these bodysuits are the bomb. They're killing the game. They have great compression in this area. They let your boobs breathe. They let your legs breathe. I mean, they're still like in there and put away and feeling good and locked and loaded and everything, but it's super comfortable. Your butt too, I don't wanna show you fully, but it does allow your butt cheeks to come out. It feels great, it's awesome. This is a 2X, 3X again in that color on it. I just feel like I can do a lot of activities in this. The other ones I feel like I can't do that many activities. I can stand, I can look nice for photos, but I cannot do activities and this feels like something I can actually move around in, do whatever I want, kind of just. Again, there's nothing here so that you can pee through it, but this one is really easy to get on and off, frankly, so. Highly suggest. Okay, the last one I got is the one that doesn't have the leg in it. I'm actually not gonna put it on because I'm starting to feel really crappy right now. Um, however, it's the exact same as the previous one that I showed you, which it's even, I mean, I have the same like color that I showed you before as well. I got the one with the left leg missing. Why? Because I couldn't get the one with the right leg missing. That's the only downside of these. Like, I think it's actually genius that you just cut the whole leg out and it's, it, they're made exactly the same. Like, I think it's smart that you just cut the leg out um, however, you have to buy both, you know what I mean? Like, because I have some dresses that slit down the left and some that go down the right. But I guess if you have it for one specific occasion, you could just buy the one. But it is, again, that high-waisted kind, so it would have to be tucked into a bra. But, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go take some medicine and drink some coffee and edit it, and I hope that uh, you enjoyed it and give me a thumbs up if you did. I'll be back really soon with some, I think, Amazon, Halloween costumes. They're sitting downstairs begging to be featured. So I'll be back very soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you later. Bye!